All right, the first COVID vaccine arrived here in Indiana today, but that's just the start. And we are expecting millions more in the next few weeks, and we are getting a lot of questions about the vaccine storage, which requires incredibly cold temperatures. Yeah, Hoosiers really want to know what temperature will that vaccine be when it's actually injected into your arm? Our Bob Siegel with our verified team found that answer today. The COVID-19 vaccine that's now being shipped all over the country has to be kept at about minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is colder than a winter day in Antarctica. And for some of our viewers, the idea of getting a frigid blast of vaccine in their deltoid muscle, that's raising some questions. Larry wants to know, with the vaccine being shipped and stored frozen, how does a frozen vaccine get injected into your body? And Kimon asks, if this vaccine has to be stored at sub-zero temps, will it still be this cold when you get the shot? Here's what we know about how this first COVID vaccine will be administered. And our sources are the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which provides the vaccine instruction guide, and the director of pharmacy at IU Health. The FDA confirms vials of the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine must be stored between minus 76 and minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit. But the agency says the vaccine must be thawed and diluted prior to administration, and vials must reach room temperature before dilution. The pharmacy director for IU Health says the thawing process can take place very quickly. You can thaw a vial at 30 minutes at room temperature or in the refrigerator for two hours. Um, once we reconstitute it and start making and drying up, it is good at room temperature for six hours. Once each vial of vaccine is thawed and diluted with a saline solution, the FDA says it must be stored at between 35 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And like the pharmacist said, it must be used within six hours. So we can verify you will not be getting a sub-zero COVID-19 shot. IU Health confirms when the shot's administered, it will be much closer to room temperature. Or put another way, when you get the shot injected into your arm, it'll be about 150 degrees warmer than when it was shipped from the factory. Have something you'd like us to verify? Go ahead and send us an email at verify at wthr.com.